quick message for you. Um, this concerns homosexuality in the church, or otherwise known as sexual immorality, which are quite a few, quite a few forms of sexual immorality. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take it straight out of uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. It says, I wrote to you <clears throat> in my epistle not to keep company with sexually immoral people. <clears throat> Yet I certainly did not mean with the sexually immoral people of this world or with the covetous or the extortioners or the idolaters since then you would need to go out to the world then you would need to go out of the world. But now I have written to you not to keep company with anyone named a brother. Um, that means anyone who calls themselves a Christian, however they condone or they say that God condones their, their way of life, who is sexually immoral or covetous or an idolater or a, a reviler or a drunkard or an extortioner not even to eat with such a person. Um, well, this, uh, if, if we have to get precise about um, the, the uh, definition of sexual morality, we'll go straight um, right over here to the, uh, one of the next verses. It's um, 1 Corinthians 6, 9. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? That means that God is not okay with it. He does not condone it. Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, no covetous, on and on, will inherit the kingdom of God. This, does, this doesn't mean that if someone is coming in and they know that they're wrong, and they're really trying to get close to God, and you know that they're really in a, in, a, in a state looking for forgiveness and trying to repent, that's a different subject. That's exactly what the church is there for. However, to have churches, so-called churches, that affirm homosexuality, and they allow the homeless, a person who condones their homosexual lifestyle to be a part of the clergy or a part of the staff, that it, that's exactly opposite. That's, exact, that's exactly what, uh, what I just read, what Paul tells us about don't even don't even eat with the person the person has to learn a lesson all right and it's not about cruelty at all but whenever a, when when people aren't getting into someone's mind when 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 they're refusing discipline and they're like oh that's just the way i am well they have to be kicked out to allow god to really to do his work because at that point it is directly between them and god so if they say Oh, well, God knows who I am. Well, then that means that they're really not supposed to be part of the body. Um, I just wanted to give that quick word on it because it's, it's been bugging my heart a lot lately. Um, there are quite a few churches that I know of that openly condone homosexuality. Uh, and I know you guys probably do as well. Um, again, it's not in condoning it. Because he says if someone calls themselves a believer and then they condone or they live in that type of lifestyle and they say, don't judge me. He says, no, you're not supposed to judge the world because that's God's job. But we are supposed to have checks and balances for each other in the body of Christ. Remember, iron sharpens iron. All right. Uh, be blessed.